Michael Crabtree and Aqib Talib were suspended two games each by the NFL yesterday for their first quarter fight on Sunday. Crabtree pushed Talib all the way to the sideline after Talib ripped off his chain for the second year in a row. Both players then threw punches and were ejected. The NFL said they endangered sideline and league personnel in the fight. Both players are expected to appeal. Shannon, do you agree with the suspensions? I do, and I'm not surprised. I thought they would get uh, a minimum of one, possibly two games, considering Tlaib's history. He once poked Dwayne Allen in the eye when he was with the Colts. He got a game suspension for that. I'm not talking about once he was suspended a game for personal conduct, the PEDs. I'm talking about basically on-field stuff. And if you read uh, John Runyon, who's in charge of discipline with the yeah. NFL, he laid it out. He said, Mr. Crabtree, first, basically the first play of the game, you punch Chris Harris Jr. in the midsection, you blocked the guy once the whistle was over, out of bounds pass, you injured a, a league official who was trying to uh, contain this situation, therefore two games. He also laid out with, with Tlaib that he snatched off the chain, another one as he did last year. And to leave, you know, if you're a hunter, Skip, I don't know if you ever hunt a fish, but normally when you get a trophy fish, you don't know, have it mounted, put it on the wall. You get a big deer or Cape buffalo somewhere in Africa, you mount it, have its heads put on the wall. To leave, got two chains in a frame right now. His kid's mm. going to ask him one day, Daddy, how you did that? <laughs> you know, I snatched him off a dude neck in the game. Your daddy was hard. Mm. Two games. I definitely agree with it, Skip, mm. because what happened, they also said, once the fight was over, you two re-engaged. And that was the word that I used. Maybe they get a game skip, but once they try to get this thing under control, they got isolated by themselves and they started throwing punches again. Mm -hmm. Skip, this is not hockey. The NFL professional football is violent enough. The last, even if you play it in the cleanest form, from snap to whistle, this is an inherently dangerous game. In the NFL, they got enough issues going on, Skip. They don't want to have this issue that is true. on their plate also. Mm. So I am not surprised. But you know what, Skip, what I find funny? Think about who's in charge. John Runyon. John Runyon was once thought of as being one of the dirtiest offensive mm. linemen in the game. But he, <clears throat> he ran for Congress. He did, he's doing mm. a great job. I believe he's doing a great job in this role. I have no problem with the two games. They're going to both appeal. Probably gets reduced to one. Probably. But would I be shocked if it stayed at two? I still would not, mm -hmm. Skip. Yep. So, Jack Del Rio, the Raiders coach, tweeted about how he doesn't quite understand how this could be two games and two games when he harked back to the Jalen Ramsey versus A.J. Green and neither of them got suspended a single game. But obviously there was no history between those two. Correct. And obviously A.J. Green has been viewed over a long career as a model citizen. M model. Right? Yeah. And we talked about it the Monday after and we said, Wow, what got into him? Yes. And he apologized profusely after the game. He mm -hmm. said, that's not me. But he also got, got into disrespect. And he said, I have a son. And I'm not going to teach my son to back down when, when you get challenged the way he, he felt like Jalen Ramsey was kind of like great gray, gray area, cheap shot yes. him at the end of, you know, at the whistle, yep. a little shove here, a little push there, a little up under the chin here and there. And he finally said, okay, I'm done. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> and AJ is certainly bright enough, high football IQ, that he knew what was happening. He was just going to get thrown out. Right. So he just tackled I'm it. I'm good. I'm yep. good with that, yeah. Right? Yep. And no suspension for either player. This has become a, a, a long sideshow of a feud yes. between these two that seems like it just keeps escalating game after game after game. And finally, the National Football League said, nope, th this is over right here, right now. Right. Now, I was surprised at how severe this was. I thought maybe Crabtree would get a game. I wasn't even sure that Tlaib would get suspended at all. I thought he might just get a heavy fine because obviously the instigator here, the escalator here was mostly Crabtree, Correct. right? Yes. But the NFL said, no. We just can't take this anymore. We're going to put an end to it right now. And as you point out, two could be reduced to one. Actually, the more I thought about it and slept on it, I hope it's not reduced because I think two and two is, is truly fair. I, I think it should stand. Because here's the thing, Skip. What it, you want to punish the two individuals that yeah. got involved in this, but you also want to send a strong enough deterrent because we've seen these starting to creep up a little bit more, Skip. We saw the Jalen Ramsey. And if you remember uh, Andre Johnson, Yep. And uh, Cortland Finnegan got to it. They did. They didn't get suspended, yep. but they didn't re-engage once the officials got control of the situation. Yep. That was the problem. They re-engaged again. And it was, and as, you, as you mentioned, it's been standing since last year. Mm -hmm. And the commissioner, the NFL, says, we're going to put a kibosh to this. 
Now, what we're going to see, Skip, I think moving forward, the slightest contact with the official, the player is gone. Mm. Fighting again, I believe moving forward, the slightest form is fighting. They're telling the officials mm. to get rid of them. Mm. It's done. They're, gonna, they're trying to put a stop to this because they don't want this, these type of incidents like it was in the, in the, I think it was like in the 80s, Kansas City and the Raiders got into a fight where Sean Jones was actually took his helmet off and was swinging it. They're not going back to those days. I remember Deion Sanders against Andre Agreed. Ryzen. I do. I mean, it was just like yeah. flailing yeah. at each other, that, right? That, that. <laughs> so you brought up the sport of hockey. I'm not the biggest hockey fan, but I've covered my share of hockey, and I was at the 1980 Miracle on Ice game, so I, I, I know enough about hockey to speak about hockey. Mm -hmm. And for years, it has perplexed and troubled me that that sport had an unwritten rule that when two guys have a beef, everybody just stops for a while, and they drop their gloves, and they just, they just duke it out. Yeah. And if blood is spilled, blood is spilled. So be it. And I never quite knew, are they trying to sell the sport that way, or as they get trying to sell to us, we, we just need them to defuse. This is the way we police our sport. Right. We just let them go until they're finished, and right. they both get a five-minute major, and then it's over. Right. And then that's the end of that. And maybe one guy's got a busted lip. lip and cut both, eye. Uh, yeah, right? Mm -hmm. And th that this was the equivalent of that where, where they just took it outside. They took it over here, right. and they, they just continued on right. swinging, except, unfortunately, Tlaib had ripped off Crabtree's helmet. To your point, helmets are undefeated. And Tlaib still had his helmet on, even though Crabtree managed to poke him in the eye. Mm -hmm. So now we have some decline in the NFL ratings. And so I sat back last night and thought, well, is, is this something people want to see? I, I'm just gut no. feeling. Maybe some do, but I don't think they want to see no. this. In the big picture, long term, I don't think it's a pretty sight for the National no, Football League. No, it's not. League, right? And the thing is, Skip, if, if, in hockey, once the officials break it up and they go, it's done. They don't go over, okay, another fight starts off, and then, then these two go re-engage right. again, and that's what happens. And you don't usually see a brawl, like team brawls. Right. It just doesn't, it's just two guys. They're into it. Let, and, let them and once they got it under control, the, the fact that they went into a little area said, okay, yeah. we, we're not done with this. That's what the NFL, I think. I, I think if it had just happened like it happened, snatched the chain, blocked out of bounds, boom, boom, boom. Skip, I really think they probably wouldn't have got a game. But because they re-engaged yep, and I they agree. kept it going, right? They had they had no choice. So their sideshow feud upstaged the football game, right? And again, and I'm glad because it was a terrible game. Well, that's what I'm saying. But you had three and seven versus four and six, right. so the game was kind of a letdown right. to start with, right? And I'm sure some people found that by far the most interesting thing that actually happened on right. the football field, but it wasn't really part of the football game. And by the way, to finish up on hockey. Over the last, say, three years, I, fighting has declined slowly but surely. And, and when I covered, in the old days when I covered playoff hockey, they never fought in the playoffs. No. Like it was an unwritten rule. We only do that during the regular season. They don't fight in the Olympics okay. either. Yeah. And okay. they say that's some of the best hockey. Yeah. See, I could have been a hockey player, Joy. You know your old boy? If they be skating in there, I'll be one of them old goons. I'll put them fangs on them. <laughs> you bother my guy? Oh, I want to be a force. I just want to protect somebody. What? You'd been you, a slap shot enforcer? Didn't, didn't Slayer like, take you out with one? Yeah, that was my teammate. Swing. My own teammate. Yeah. He called mm -hmm. me. He called me. You up. got a glass I jaw. You can't be a hockey player with a glass jaw. No, no, I didn't. I wasn't. Hockey players that. are tough. They go in the back and get get their faces sewn mm, up. That old mess, please. Really? They ain't trying to do nothing. They ain't 245. Uh, it's like I, a crazy. You wait, don't I, want I, I thought you didn't player. love cold weather. I don't. Okay, well, mm -mm. that would be a problem. I mean, yeah, I mean, me and that, that little thin blade. Can you, can you skate? I, no. Okay. I tried. I don't think hockey's for you. Yeah. yeah, that's a big part of the game, yeah. being able to skate. They might let you play in your Jordans, though. Just yeah. Oh, I, I have me some yeah. Jordan skates. Mm -hmm. I be, I be, Jordan will make some skates, too. <laughs> I'd be doing I'd be going around the ice. Just, Next up, in a shocking move, the Grizzlies fired head coach David Fisdale yesterday after their eighth straight 